is Ali and I'm here to support uh, all the organizations that are trying to free all the mammals that are in captivity for, for human entertainment. Uh, it's a subject that's very sensitive to me and everybody here as you can see. Uh, there's a lot of people here, there's about 200 people. And we're working to end uh, animal abuse, especially animals that are abused for the purpose of entertainment. that the orcas live in captivity 10 to 12 years in the wild they live up to 80 years so everyone thinks that they really only live 10 to 12 years but in actuality they're like us they have long lifespans go to great america don't teach your kids cruelty just one complaint i got i just i just heard on the radio about so i said i'll just go over here and talk to you guys and talk about it okay. so other than that i have Okay. Hi, my name is Lisa Robles. I'm the organizer of Empty the Tanks here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in Vallejo. Um, the reason why we're here today is to uh, kind of bring awareness to the issue of dolphins and whales in captivity. Uh, Six Flags no longer has whales, but they do still have 21 dolphins inside this park, uh, five of which were wild caught. Um, I have gone to Taji, Japan and have seen firsthand the dolphin slaughter and the demand for dolphins uh, based on marine parks such as this in the sea world. And basically the point is, is when you buy a ticket to a place like this, you're funding that industry. And while you may not be funding a place that has to to dolphins from Taji, um, you're still setting an example that this is a viable industry and sending a message to other countries that will acquire their dolphins from, from cool drive hunts such as the Taji Dolphin Slaughter. I'm here as Elsa from Arendelle and I'm, I just really want to see them let the whales go. There's going to come a day, hopefully soon, where humans don't think they have the right to captivate or humiliate or murder animals just because they don't have a voice. So until animals can speak for themselves, I'm here to speak for them. People are still trying to be blind to the reality of what these creatures have to face. Even with documentaries and, and media being so plentiful, people still will walk around blind to the reality. We're here to make sure that people get some education about what go what's going on with dolphins and orcas in captivity, and how short their lifespan is, and how unhappy they are, and how they use tranquilizers to keep them under wraps, and that it's really a guise and a ruse for a breeding program. Uh, it's great to be here at this protest today. Um, it's wonderful to just stand here and, and to be making a statement and posing the question for people that are driving by in their cars. Um, I think it really causes people to reflect and consider um, the animals.